And the theater is a community. It's a great bonding place. It's a place for kids to come and be a part of that community. <laughs> this Saturday, the curtain will rise for Frozen Junior, the first performance of the Jacksonville Children's Theater's inaugural season. Children ages 6 to 16 will be taking one of Disney's most successful movies and presenting it on stage as a musical. On your signs, Robert Bradfield got the chance to attend a rehearsal this week and spoke with several students who will be center stage. Frozen fans can prepare to have their hearts melted as these students take on the Disney movie. Frozen Junior is the first performance of the newly created Jacksonville Children's Theater. Its executive director is a youth minister and film major. You put that together with teaching kids how to do drama and how to act, and it was like the perfect setup for us. Maxie Coleman started the group with his wife, telling us theater saved his life after he saw his first show in high school. He took that passion for the arts and held a casting call for Frozen Junior with students across Duval County auditioning. He cast everyone who showed up and says it just so happened the leads turned out to be African American. The story of Frozen is a story about love. It's not a story about color. Playing the part of Elsa is 14-year-old Kenzie Hall. When she landed the lead... I jumped around my kitchen and I was with my family and I was like, I got the role. They're like, I'm so proud of you. It's a similar excitement for Charity Hunt. The 13-year-old is playing Anna. Theater is giving her this outlook on life. And people just like help you be the real you instead of hiding behind a mask and being someone you're not. Coleman and company have been rehearsing for about three months and are preparing for a different spring performance. It's a task he's taking head on, saying he's teaching these students the value of hard work. For a lot of kids, it's like that applause at the end of the song is it's like, hey, we're proud of you. You did something. We enjoy it. And it's just it's it's a confirmation for them. In Jacksonville, Robert Bradfield, First Coast News on your side. You know, they look good. Break a kid, uh, break a leg. Kids. <laughs> Don't I wanted to say kids. break a leg, kids. That was so cool. <laughs> well, the two performances are this Saturday at 3 and 6 p.m. at Theater Jacksonville in San Marco. We do have a link to tickets along with this story on firstcoastnews.com.